Good morning guys, today is a nicer day, not so much rain, so I'm going to be walking around Dijon and uh, exploring the town. The architecture here is incredible and has so much history, so it's going to be beautiful and I'm excited to share this experience with you. But the first stop is this traditional mustard place. I mean, I'm in Dijon, I have to eat mustard. I have to try it all, I have to try it all, so let's do that. shop called Mai, which it opened in 1845 here in Dijon, and they sell mustard. The presentation of these mustards makes it look like, like luxurious, it's so pretty, and you can get like collections. And each season they come out with different mustards, um, so for example in the winter time they're saying that they eat more like white meat, like chicken. So they'll make certain mustards that are better suited for those types of dishes. Whereas like in the summer, it's more like fruity and desserty, and they'll make like dessert mustards even. Okay, I've never seen this before. Mustard on tap. Look at this. The reason for mustard on tap is because it's more fresh, so it's stronger. So you can buy a little container and get it filled up, and then you can take your container once it's finished, you can bring it back and fill it up again. like the seasonal collection for the summer. We've got even rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb, which is apparently really good on cheese and I would probably agree with that. It sounds like it would be. And then there's pepper, and then there's eggplant, and eggplant. Yeah. Okay, there's even coconut. What? This is the coconut mustard. Wow. Holy, oh my god, that's like an experience. That is a, well, I guess everything's an experience, but this is like a very unique experience. If you love mustard, this is overwhelming. Like look, raspberry, got some parmesan, basil, hazelnut. Ooh, we got chocolate, it looks like chocolate hazelnut. Oh my god. Pistachio and orange. This is ridiculous. I don't even know what to get because it's all good. <laughs> I am at a gingerbread shop, and that is another really big thing here in Dijon. Uh, gingerbread. And I'm not going to complain because I love gingerbread. It tastes delicious. And there's so many different kinds here, so I am looking forward to biting my teeth into some of it. This is traditional gingerbread with anise. It's a little dry. I would want to dip it in like tea or something. Mm. And typically, people here have it for breakfast, so coffee? Dip it in coffee, that'd be good. Look at all these different kinds. So this has like candied fruit on it. This is the anise that's in the, the bread that I just tried. Yeah, so we got all different kinds, all shapes and sizes. Candied fruit here. This one's got almond on it. What I just tried is bread, like actual gingerbread. I'm used to just having like the gingerbread cookie. Uh, so it was a little different for me. It was more dry. I would prefer something like in the middle. Um, People here are recommending that maybe you put jam or butter, or even cheese in the middle, and then you can melt it, and it's supposed to be really delicious. See this building here? It has no roof, but the others do. Why is that? Well, there's a story that the man who lived in this house years ago had fingers, children's fingers, in the tiles of the roof. And these children, like there had been children that were missing, and they found fingers of children in the roof, which is really disturbing. And what they did to punish him was get rid of his roof. That's the story I was just told. It's pretty crazy and bizarre. I've just stumbled upon a market here in Dijon that is open on Tuesdays and then Fridays and Saturday morning. There's a lot of clothing and like accessories, wallets, 
watches, hats. So now I'm coming upon the food area. Fruits and vegetables. There's like an indoor area as well as an outdoor area. And this indoor area has been open since 1875. So it's got some history. So this pharmacy here, I'll take you outside so you can see the name of it, but uh, it was started by a family and now there's three managers and it's all natural stuff and everything is made in-house and you can order everything online. I stopped for lunch at a place called Des Envies and I am about to try the first dish which is a parfait. So it's like egg and lettuce and we have a white wine kind of foam. The next dish is some delicious codfish with organic vegetables. And dessert has been served. Look at this. To give you an idea of what a meal like this costs, so you get your starter, and you get your main, and then you get dessert. At this restaurant, it's 20 euros flat. Then you have to get your wine. You have to get your wine. Um, and if you want like an aperitif, a little drink to start, like a champagne or the Chardonnay with the black currant liqueur, the black currant cream, that's additional. I'm at the tourism office right beside the train station in Dijon, and I'm going to go on a Segway tour, which you can do um, in May and June, only on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But July and August, you can do it any day. Press with all your body. You press on two to stop. You just have to press on health. Okay. Just one or two seconds. But not too much because if you press too much on health, you go back. much fun I highly recommend doing that it's like a one-hour tour you get to go down by the lake or you can go into the city but I would recommend the lake because it's so beautiful there and there's a beach you can go swimming if you feel up for it <laughs> but anyways definitely recommend this I'm on a train again headed from Dijon to Macon which is another part of Burgundy it's gonna take just over an hour in Macon and drove 20 minutes to a little village called IG. And here I am staying in a castle, an actual castle. I am staying in the tower of the castle, so I basically am Rapunzel. Hey, look at this! I'm all prepared. Ah. When you enter the room, there's a little table with some treats and water and a nice little chair. And oh, hey! Then again, the toilet is separate from the rest of the bathing area. Very nice. Another double sink. Oh, oh, very nice, a bidet. And now we are entering my tower. And these walls are pretty crazy. It's not even wallpaper, it's material. This is the bed. It looks very comfortable. I'll have to test that out after. And a little sitting area with a window. Let's open it. You can hear the birds chirping. Wow. Look at, there's the other tower. How awesome is this? My first castle experience. So this is legit. I'm Rapunzel, just with red hair. Look, it's my tower. <laughs> okay, I'm eating my first meal in a castle, <laughs> which is really cool. I've got my aperitif <laughs> with uh, hibiscus, pineapple, and champagne. It smells nice. I'm trying frog legs for the first time. And I don't know if you know this, but I love frogs. Like, I am 
you know, they're just so cute. I've had a, an exotic tree frog. I owned one. I have a tattoo of a frog on my back, but I've never tried to eat. Actually, you know what? I did eat frogs, but not frog legs. I eat frog in Thailand, but not like frog legs from France. So let's try. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's like in the shape of a frog. Tastes like chicken. It's good. It's nice. Wow. Wait, before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on any upcoming adventures. Happy travels!